Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited that you're here because I'm bringing you guys a Zara haul and last time it didn't work out so well, but I'm really happy that I got my hands on some good pieces. So let's get into the video. So I'm sure a lot of you guys remember the last Zara video that I did was like sort of an anti haul. None of the pieces worked. I didn't even try them on. I showed you guys the pieces and I told you like about the poor quality and a lot of the pieces just wouldn't work and I was really disappointed because I do get really excited about Zara hauls and I usually find some really great stuff. I think maybe I just caught it in like a funny time like the summer wasn't exactly over and the fall didn't really start like all the new fall stuff didn't really come in so I think maybe I just caught it at a weird time but if you want to check out that video I'll link it here in the cards but before I show you these new pieces I want to welcome everyone who's new here and subscribe if you haven't already check out some of my other videos I have tons of fashion content I have outfits of the week playlist you can check out my handbag collection I have tons of fashion content for you so if that's what you want to see then you are in the right place I teach you how to style curvy girl friendly outfits outfits for the office the weekend you guys I got you covered so make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that way you guys don't miss any uploads and before I get into the video I just wanted to let you guys know that I did upload a few more pieces to my closet sale so I have the link in the description box so you can check it out all right so let's just get into these pieces so this first pair of pants I love I have these in black and Zara also did them in like a light pale pink color maybe it was like a blush tone i think they have them in red this year as well but they always seem to be doing these i noticed them last year and that's when i got the black pair and i really really love them the rise on the pants is really nice it fits nice and tight around the waist it's just a really nice pant and these were only 45.90 and i'm gonna say only 45.90 just because of the quality now, I told you guys already, the last Zara haul that I did was a fail, and the quality of all those items was actually really, really poor. But these pants are really nicely made, and they're something that I could have for a while, so I'm really happy with them. But I really like these because they have a nice bit of stretch in it. Hopefully you can see that give. It's really nice. And then the back has sort of a V detail. This is the back of the pants, and it has a little bit of a V detail, which is really nice if you want to tuck something in, like wear a bodysuit with it or something like that. It's just a nice little detail. And then it has darts in the front. As you can see here, hopefully, it has darts in the front. And it just fits really nicely, especially if you're a curvy girl. I really recommend these pants. Now, I would stay steer clear of the lighter colors if you don't want to show any imperfections. If you're comfortable with wearing like Spanx under your pants or some sort of a smoother under your pants, then that's fine. I don't prefer to wear smoothers under my pants. I'm okay with wearing them under skirts and dresses, but I don't really like to wear um, extra layers under my pants. So I just stick to the darker colors and it's totally fine for me. But I really like these and I recommend you guys try them out too. And one more thing I forgot to mention about these pants is the color. How could I forget the color? This color is really, really amazing. This is so pretty for fall. It looks really nice with blushes and uh, purples and whites, of course. This is just a really nice color that goes with a lot of things. It's really a nice muted plum color. And it's so flattering for so many skin tones. So I'm really happy that they, that they did this color this year. The next piece I have is a basic white short sleeve tee. What I liked about it is that it was cropped, but not too cropped that it shows too much belly. It's a really nice crop that looks good with wide leg pants or just regular skinny jeans, anything like that. It's just a basic white tee, but I really like the shape of it. And the quality is pretty good. I'm actually always on the hunt for a really nice white t-shirt. Something that's not too expensive because I like to buy my white t-shirts in like twos or threes. Because you know, it's just something you run through really quickly and they do get stained and they turn yellow on the arms or just get, you know, dirty or messed up or whatever over time. And a white t-shirt you reach for so many times like throughout the year and it just doesn't have a season. White t-shirts are just all year things. So I'm always looking for the perfect white t-shirt that's not see-through, that has a good fit, that lays nicely and all that stuff. So I really like this one. I wouldn't say it's like my ultimate favorite white tee, but it does fit nicely and I like the crop. It's a nice boxy white tee, so if you do like a half tuck or something like that, it uh, just lays really nicely. And this one was 13 bucks. They have another color, it's sort of like a charcoal washed out uh, kind of a shade that I really like. I haven't gotten it yet, but I'm, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get it for 13 bucks, why not? So I'll link that color in the description box as well. 
And I probably will forget to mention the sizes, but I will have the sizes of everything listed next to the items in the description box. Now the next two pieces are the same item, but different colors, and I tend to do that with things that I like. I'll buy it in all the colors that it comes in if it's a really nice item. So these blazers, this is the blue one. These are very Balmain inspired. I actually have the black and the camel. I got it last year, and then this year I saw that it came in navy, and that's another staple color. A really nice basic to have in your wardrobe. And I'm really working on my basics, like making sure that I have enough basics because I tend to always pick the things that are really flashy or you know, colorful or you know, just like personality items and everything can't be that way so I am working on getting my basics together. This is something that I know I'm gonna wear a ton, I'm gonna wear it casually, I'm gonna wear it dressed up to work the weekend, all that. So, and because I really enjoyed the black and the camel that I have already, I knew that I was gonna like the black. And then, I mean the blue. And it comes with gold buttons. They are really nice. It's just a really nice well-made blazer. I'm thinking about getting the arm shortened a little bit, but overall it's just really nice. I really love this blazer. And then here's the blazer again, but in faux leather. Now this one I'm actually not sure I'm gonna keep. I really like it. I think it's a lot of fun, but ultimately I really wish it was actual leather. Just because sometimes faux leather just doesn't cut it for me. I wear leather, I'm not like against wearing leather or anything like that. If you are, then I can totally understand that, but I do feel that when it, like if this was a genuine leather item, it would, it would really elevate it a ton. And it's really cute and I like it a lot, so I'm gonna style it and see how I feel about it. But it's a really nice blazer. I was pleasantly surprised because there was another one that Zara had that I wasn't really that fond of. But Zara does actually really nice faux leather. To be honest with you, I have some other faux leather pieces from Zara and they're actually really nice. So this one I would recommend, like I would say get it and try it on. See if you like it. Uh, but overall, because it is faux leather, and this one was 119, I don't know that I'm really gonna wanna have it like, is, is it gonna be worth it for me? Like, am I gonna like it next year, you know? Not because of the shape, it's a really nice classic shape. Obviously, I love this shape. I have this blazer in three colors, three other colors. So, we'll see how it goes, but I'm gonna style it up, and then you guys can let me know. Do you think I should keep it or take it back? What do you think? And also that, I mean, I kinda just feel like the, the fabric doesn't hang as nicely as the other ones. Like, this blue one, for example, it just hangs really nicely, and my other ones, the quality is a lot just it feels richer than this one, more expensive than this one. So that's why I'm up in the air about it. These next couple pieces are again the same thing in two different colors. Zara knits are really, really nice for the price point. I have this, I think I already have it in black, honestly. I got another black one this year, but I have it now in this color. I got it last year in a charcoal color, and I really like these, so I'm just gonna keep on collecting all the colors just because they're really nice basic. You can throw them on under blazers, under cardigans, under leather. <laughs> you can throw them on under blazers, cardigans, leather jackets. I just really love these, and I like the nice long short sleeve. <laughs> it's perfect if you're someone who's always chilly like me. This is a really, really nice layering piece, and I love these a lot. And then here it is in the black, really nice quality. So I hope they keep doing these in tons of colors because I'm gonna get all of them. <laughs> now this next piece I have for you guys is not from Zara, it's from Express, but it is in the same vein as a couple of those other Zara blazers. They are very Balmain inspired, they have the same shape. This one, if you're a petite girl, then you probably would appreciate this one more because it's a little bit shorter in the waist. So it could be a lot more flattering for you if you're just looking for that same style, but something that might be a little bit different, a little bit shorter. The other blazer's a lot, it's more of a long line. So I would say try this one out if you feel like that one wouldn't work for you. I really like this one because the color is so beautiful. This is a really beautiful color and it looks really nice with plums and purples and of course whites. I mean everything, a lot of the pieces that I'm showing you guys look good paired with white and black and everything like that, but it's really nice for the fall. I really like this blush shade. Or maybe it's more of a mauve, what do you think? I don't know what Express calls it, but it's like a mauve blush sort of a shade and I really like that. I love the plums and purples right now. Purple is my new favorite color, you guys. Already know that. <laughs> But I really like this one. I think that, like I said, if you're a petite girl and you weren't sure about the Zara blazer, this could be a really good option for you. This next piece is another Zara knit. Favorite color again. I'm obsessed with this color and I'm trying to like snap it up every time I see it. But Zara knits, again, are really nice. So I didn't mind getting this one. They also have it in yellow, 
I don't know why they didn't do this one with matching like joggers. The yellow one has matching joggers. So I don't know why they didn't do this one. And then they have another knit set that has matching joggers. This one I think maybe came with shorts is what I saw on the website, but I couldn't find the shorts. But I was more interested in joggers. So I hope that they also like bring the joggers to go with this sometime soon so I can have the full set. But either way, I'm really in love with this. It's so beautiful. I love the fit, very comfortable, very comfortable. I love the fit, very comfortable, and it's more like an elevated lounge piece. It looks great with sweats, but you can also pair it with jeans, and it looks really good with satin. So I actually have some really good ideas in mind for styling this, so stay tuned because I'm gonna do another video styling all these pieces from the... It looks really good styled with jeans and slacks, but it also looks great styled with satin. I actually have some really good outfit ideas and I cannot wait to show you guys. So stay tuned because I'm gonna do another video styling all these Zara pieces. The next piece are these wide leg sweatpants. Now these I like because the waistband is nice, thick, and it's a nice high waistband. It actually has a top that goes with it. I got the top, but I didn't love it. It was cool, but it kinda was a little bit bulky. It added a little bit too much bulk. So I didn't uh, keep it, I decided to take it back. But I love this, and I know a lot of you are watching, and if you've seen my Nordstrom anniversary haul video, then you're probably wondering, Ashley, why did you get these? Because you already have a pair of gray wide leg sweatpants. But I got these because the material is actually a lot different. I'll link that video here in the cards if you wanna check out those sweatpants, the Nike ones. But I got these because this material, first of all, is a little bit thinner, but not too thin. And it just has a different vibe. The Nike ones were more of like a, they were a fleece line, they were a lot thicker, and they were like a true sweatpant material. These have a little more structure, and they also have like an imaginary fly. The back has faux pockets. It looks more like a pant, so it's almost like a slack in a sweatpant material, and I really like that. I thought it was a pretty cool idea, and they fit really nicely. So I figured I will get these, and if they come in black, I'm gonna get them in black as well if they ever bring them out. Right now, I only saw the gray, but the gray is actually really nice and it goes with so many things. So I love these, and just like the other ones I have, they do have like a front sort of seam going down. It's really nice for you know keeping the leg long and creating a slimming effect. I really love that, but my favorite thing about these is the waistband holds everything in nice and tight. I really like that a lot. The last piece I wanna show you guys is these boots, these patent leather boots that I am obsessed, obsessed with. I cannot wait to wear these in real life. I'm so excited about these. First of all, I just want you guys to know that I've been looking for a pair of white boots for over a year now. I cannot find like a really nice fitting white boot anywhere with a reasonable heel. I actually have a pair of white boots that are by Steve Madden, but they're super white. They're really bright white and they have a really high heel, which just really isn't realistic for me to wear every day. I really like them a lot, but they just, they're just not realistic for an everyday boot. So when I found these, they checked a couple of boxes for me. The heel height was extremely reasonable, perfect and patent leather. I love patent leather, so I was really excited that I was able to find these. They call, I think they call them off-white as the color on the website, but they kind of look a little gray in person. I don't know, the camera might be blowing it out so you might not be able to see like the true color, but it looks like a dove gray. But I love these. I mean, white patent leather, you cannot go wrong. And honestly, the fact that they look a little bit gray kind of makes them even more wearable because I know a lot of people are actually really scared of a white boot but you have nothing to be afraid of with these. They go with so many things. And I'm gonna show you guys, because like I said before, I'm gonna style them up, and I'm gonna show you a few different ways to wear them, but I wanted to show you all these things now because we all know Zara items sell so quickly, especially the popular things, and now that we you know, are entering into a new season, a lot of this stuff is probably gonna be going. So I wanted to show you everything so you can get it if you wanted to get your hands on it. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna be styling and wearing everything. So stay tuned for that. And head over to my Instagram because I'll be uploading outfit pictures, of, you know, things that I style and everything like that. And I know I need to get more active on Instagram, so I will. But you guys can head over there. And if you wanna see like different outfit ideas that I already have, 
and you can create your own boards, then follow me on Pinterest. I'll have that link in the description box as well. So that's it for today's haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I will have the links to all my social media platforms in the description box where you can follow me if you want to check me out on Instagram, on Pinterest. And you guys, Pinterest is a really great place to follow me because I have so many different outfit ideas posted that you can just snag the photos and create your own boards and lay things out exactly how you want to see it. So that way you don't have to go through all of my content, all of my videos, trying to find the outfits that you had seen before. You can just head over to Pinterest and create your own boards and you know, style your outfits for the week. So thanks again for watching you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.